But who is chosen is the question. And we will bring Son it of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. Set up the standard upon the walls of Babylon. Make the watch strong. Set up the watchmen. Set up the watchmen mean put the nation in order. The so-called Mexicans, can you see this chart? Yeah. You all come from the tribe of Issachar according to the scriptures. Have you ever heard that before? No. Now let me ask you a question. What's your last name? Valerio. Valerio? Yeah. How did your ancestors get that last name? I'm not sure. All right, we're going to show you. Uh, give me Deuteronomy chapter 28. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 49. Now I want you to think about the history of your ancestors, okay? <laughs> Listen to this. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee. The, the Most High God was going to bring a nation against this specific group of people, read. From far, from the... From, from a land that's far away, read. From the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flyeth. As swift as the eagle flyeth. Who came from a far land to the land of Mexico? The so-called conquistadors. They came from a land far off in the land of Europe, they came to Mexico, and what did they do? They enslaved your ancestors. The same way our ancestors got enslaved, we got brought from Western Africa to America, the same thing happened to your ancestors. You weren't speaking Spanish before the white man showed up. Before the conquistadors, you didn't have the last name that you had. So the question is, well, what is your nationality? Who were you before the white man showed up? Give me Deuteronomy chapter seven, verse six. We're gonna show you who you are according to the Bible. You believe in the Bible? Why not? I don't believe in religion. Well, we're not talking about religion, we're talking about the Bible. So uh, there's so many ver like versions and So we deal with the original version that was printed. Matter of fact, I'm gonna show you why you should believe in the Bible. Go to Isaiah chapter 46, verse 10. Because what we just read to you about a nation coming from afar and enslaving your ancestors, that was written thousands of years before it ever happened. This is why you want to believe in the Bible. Listen to this. Isaiah chapter 46 and verse 10, declaring the end from the beginning. The Most High God uses the Bible to declare the end from the beginning. Believe it or not, the Bible prophesied my people, the tribe of Judah, the so-called African-Americans being brought from the western coast of Africa to America on slave ships. The Bible prophesied the conquistadors coming to Mexico and raping your mothers and enslaving your fathers and giving you the Spanish language and the Catholic religion. Read. And from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, my counsel shall stand. The counsel of the Most High shall stand. What is the counsel of the Most High? The keeping of his commandments. Go back to Deuteronomy 28. As a matter of fact, yeah, give them seven and six real quick. Because this is who you were before the conquistador showed up. Listen to this. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art an holy people. The tribe of Issachar is a holy people. Commonly referred to today as Mexicans. Read. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people. God calls you special. Read. Unto himself. He called you special unto himself. So he looked at everybody that he created and he chose you. He said, you're the greatest above all people. Read. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Now our people are out here fighting for equal rights here in America, right? 
You want to be equal to the people here in America? I'm not sure. Good, I'm glad you're not sure. Because the Bible is a sure thing, and the Bible for sure tells us there is no such thing as equal rights. It tells us that we're greater, we're above all nations on the face of this earth. That's right! But there's a condition. Go back to Deuteronomy chapter 28. Verse 1. We're going to show you the conditions. We're going to show you what you must do in order to be the greatest nation on the face of this earth. This is why you want to believe in the Bible. This Bible is going to make you great. Without this Bible, we're going to be at the bottom of society. We're going to be working the labor jobs. We're always going to be servants here in America. I don't want that for you, brother. I see, and yeah, neither do we. When you walk past, we don't see a servant. We don't see a slave. We see a future God of this earth if you repent and keep God's commandments. That's right. Read verse 1. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1. This is what's going to make you great above all nations. Read. And it shall come to pass. This is what's going to happen. Read. If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Brother, what's your name? What's your first name? Leo. Leo. Leo, if you listen diligently unto the voice of the Most High God, this is his voice. Read. To observe and to do all his commandments. If you do all of God's commandments. Not two commandments, not ten commandments, all of God's commandments. Guess what some commandments are? Wearing fringes on your clothes. Guess what some other commandments are? Today is the Sabbath day. You're supposed to be resting and fellowshipping with us on the Sabbath day. You're supposed to grow out a beard. Can you grow a beard? Now, yeah, how old are you, Leo? 20. Lord's will, your beard will come in in the future. You know, you're not in sin right now for not having a beard if you can't grow it. But if you can grow it and you shave it off, can you grow a beard? If you shave it off, that's when you're in sin. If you have sex with a woman. Yeah, it's a sin for, for shaving your beard. We're, we're going to show you that in a minute. But, but listen to this. Finish that up. To observe and to do all his commandments, uh -huh. which I command thee this day. Check me out, Leo. Hey, my man, stay with us for a few minutes. You see yourself with this sign right here? All right, yeah, take a picture of it, and we're going to talk to you in a second. Go ahead, read that. That the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. All right. Now, we're going to bring out some history for you, Leo. Check this out for me right here. This is called the origin of the American Indians. And guess what? Your history, Leo, is in this book. Uh, we're going to read the two highlighted portions for the brother. It's page 88. Nonetheless, he remained convinced that the most reasonable theory seems to be that they are de descended from the ten tribes. Guess who he's talking about? The Mexicans. He's talking about your ancestors, Leo. The descendants of the ten tribes of Israel, which you see right here on the chart. Listen to this, read. Especially the tribe of Issachar. Issachar, the Mexicans are from the tribe of Issachar, read. This descent was identified by many, indicated by many of the customs, rites, and ceremonies. Guess what? You had your own customs, your own rites, and your own ceremonies before the conquistadors showed up. But guess what? When they showed up, they taught you Catholicism. They gave you the cross. You got people doing all of this mess. You got your women in pants, you're eating pork. But guess what? You weren't doing that before the white man showed up. We're trying to call you back to your origins, back to your heritage, back to your history. Read. Common to the ancient Hebrews. The ancient what? The ancient Hebrews. These people right here on this sign. The same people that Moses led out of Egypt. That's what he's saying. Read. And modern Indians. The examples which Vasquez introduced were typically similarity in physic and temper temperament, circumcision, burial customs, and language. Right. Now one more section. Listen to this. The Mexicans are originally the ten tribes captured by Salmonazer. I don't think you heard that. Everybody listen up. Leo, listen to this. Listen real close. Pull your phone out and record it if you have to. Listen to this. The Mexicans. The who? The Mexicans. Read. Are originally the ten tribes captured by Salmonazer and of the family of Issachar, whom the Indians recognized as their special ancestors. This is your history. Everything you see here on this chart, these are the customs of your, his of your ancestors. This is the history that you must return to. These are the commandments that you must begin to keep. Now we're gonna go into some laws for him real quick. Go to Exodus. Hey bro. Hey bro. Oh, second Ezra. Yeah, let's, let's, let's show you how your ancestors, the tribe of Issachar, got to America. Because the white man lied to us. We're here to out here, we're out here to debunk all these lies. 
The white man lied and said you came through from Asia through the Bering Straits. Can you read that again and then me second answer. Okay, yes sir. Match it up. Was it something as a well? Who pays that? I got you. Alright. Now we go remember we read the scripture to you declaring from ancient times the things that must come to pass. So the history matches up with the biblical prophecies and the scriptures. Read it. The Mexicans are originally the ten tribes captured by Salmanazar. Now we're going to show you that in the scripture. The ten tribes, don't forget that, the ten tribes captured by Salmanazar. Now if you don't believe in the Bible after this, I don't know what type of explanation that you could use to help you out, but listen to this. Second Ezra chapter 13 verse 40. This is the Bible that you need to start believing in today. Read. Those are the ten tribes. How many tribes? Those are the ten tribes. The ten tribes that we just read about in this book. Read. Which were carried away prisoners. Taken away into slavery, into captivity. Read. Out of their own land. Mm -hmm. In the time of Hosea the king. Uh huh. Whom Salmanazar. Who? Whom Salmanazar. Brother, that's what we just read here in this historical book. That's exactly what the Bible says. This is why you want to start believing in the Bible. We're not teaching you religion. We're not teaching you Christianity. This is not Catholicism. This is your heritage. That's right. God's That's right. laws. Read. The king of Assyria uh -huh. led away captive, and he carried them over the water. Over the waters. Over the Euphrates River. Now we're going into the history on how your ancestors got to Mexico. We came out of the Assyrian captivity. We came into the Euphrates River. Listen to this. And so came they into another land. Uh huh. But they took this council among themselves. So the tribe of Issachar, along with the other ten tribes of the northern kingdom, they got together. They conspired, they talked, and decided amongst themselves that they were going to do what? That they will leave the multitude of the heathen. We always kept ourselves separate from the other nations. Read. And go forth into a further country uh -huh. where never mankind dwelt. Where never mankind dwelt. So we're go we weren't going into Africa. People were already residing in Africa. What was this other place? Read. That they might dare keep their statutes. Somebody give me the definition of ar arson. Arson, yeah. Read. That they might dare keep their statutes. The commandments of the Most High is what they're talking about. Read. Where they never kept in their own land. What was their own land? Jerusalem. That's where you would carry captives from. You left from Jerusalem into Assyria, and now we're explaining how you got to the Americas. Listen to this. Right, yeah, look look down here. Look at the fringes here from the Northern Kingdom, from the, the Indians and the Mexicans. Now, now uh, it's another point that I need you to catch. Keep reading. And they entered into, you, into the Euphrates uh -huh. by the narrow passages of the river. Read. For the Most High then showed signs for them. The signs that the Most High showed was that he kept the seas calm. The tides, they would go up and down, and this, that, and the third. It would have been hard to travel if the Most High didn't show this miracle. And the stars. Give, 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 us, one, just give us one second. And the stars, exactly, read. And hell stood the flood uh -huh. till they were passed over. Leo, don't, don't lose me. It's a key point that you must understand here. For through that country, uh -huh. there was a great way to go, uh -huh. namely, of a year and a half. You got some people that will say they went into Africa. They wouldn't take a year and a half to get from Assyria to Africa by way of ship. How long would it take you to get from Assyria down the eastern coast of Africa over to South America? A year and a half. Read. And the same region uh -huh. is called Arzareth. The Bible records the name of the place that your ancestors traveled to out of the land of Assyria. Now listen to this. This is the definition of Arsur. Read. This is from the Jewish encyclopedia. The Jewish, the Jews are your history. The Jews hold your heritage. Read. The definition of Arsur. Uh-huh. This Columbus identified America with this land. Where did Columbus, what, what did Columbus do? Columbus identified America with this land. Arsara is America. Leo, are you following me? Your ancestors traveled from Assyria by way of ship to a place called Arsara, which is called America. That's how you got to what's modern day called as Mexico. Read. Verse 46. Then dwelt they there until the latter time. 
and now when they shall begin to come. Right, so you're gonna be here even to this day. Now go back, um, drop the history. Go back to, uh, the, uh, we're gonna show them some laws. We're gonna show you some laws. Cause brother, you, you, you must repent and return back to God's laws, okay? So you're not sure about that? Yes. You said you had a question about the white man coming with the Bible? Oh yeah, you think going across the Bible and all that. Yeah, we're gonna show you that. Matter of fact, we'll show you that real quick. Matthew chapter 24. Christ Christ warned us of everything that would ever happen to us. Christ told us that Jerusalem was gonna be destroyed. He told us that you were gonna get carried to America. He told you that the white man was gonna show up with the Bible and give you a false doctrine. He told us all these things. But you gotta decide to believe in the Bible before you can really understand it. Uh, Matthew chapter 24. Read the other book, but you can tie it. It ties up before you just write a second. Read that. Let me just finish reading second Ezra. Yeah. That ties in. We're going to come right back to second Ezra and how you got here in just a second. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 5. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. How did the white man come saying he's Christ? Look, look at that image right there. Point it out to him over. Yeah, the, the, the white image. Yeah. Caesar Borgia. This is how the white man came and said he's Christ. He, he destroyed this image. He covered this image up. Brought this one with a whole false doctrine called the Catholicism. He brought that to your ancestors. Read that again. And shall deceive many. Uh huh. Read it one more time. Get this on camera for me too. This sign right here. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. This is what happened to your ancestors here. This is how your ancestors learned Catholicism. The conquistadors came over, they took your babies and smashed them up against the wall. They raped your mothers, they took your fathers back to Europe, they taught them Catholicism there and brought them back to Mexico. That's why y'all got all those candles and stuff in your house now because of the conquistador. We're telling you to forsake all of that and return back to your true heritage. Now uh, get that history for them in the Yucatan. There's the book Yucatan, chapter uh, verse eight. Some old men of Yucatan say that they have heard from their ancestors, the tribe of Issachar, read, that this country was peopled by a certain race who came from the east, mm -hmm. whom God delivered by opening for them 12 roads through the sea. If this is true, all the inhabitants of the Indies must be of Jewish descent. You hear this, Leo? This is talking about your ancestors must be from the 12 tribes of Israel. Greek. North, Central, South America, because, Caribbean. Yeah. Right. yeah, everybody. North, Central, South in America, and the Caribbean. We all come from the 12 tribes of Israel. That's why you see all these names right here on that chart. Read. Because the Straits of Magellan, Magellan, having been passed, they have they must have spread over more than 2,000 2, leagues of territory now governed by Spain. So brother, the, the point, history and prophecy match up perfectly. You're not a Mexican. That's a byword that the Most High allowed you to be referred to as because you're not keeping God's commandments. That's right. So we're gonna show you a couple of the commandments real quick. Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. You see these on the bottom of my shirt? We don't do this for a fashion statement. We're not trying to get catch anybody's attention. Yeah, and your ancestors, they already had those things on their clothing back, back before the conquistador showed up. So you gotta ask yourself, well, why did my ancestors wear fringes? Listen to this. Numbers, chapter 15, verse 38. This is the answer to that question. Speak unto the children of Israel. Who? Speak unto the children of Israel. We're talking about the Israelites, the 10 tribes, the 12 tribes, the northern, the southern kingdom. Read. And bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. Right there. All the Native American Indians, the, the Mexicans, Central, South America, the, In the Incans, the Mayans, the Aztecs, they all had these fashions on their clothes. You got other historical records of, uh, uh, um, what's the, what's the book? Uh, Lost Tribes and Promised Land. They came over and, and recorded people confessing that they were out of their own mouths that they were the 12 tribes of Israel. All we're giving you is the facts and the prophecy. Read it. Speak unto the children of Israel uh -huh. and bid them that they make them fringes and the borders of their garments 
throughout their generations. Throughout their generations. What does that mean? As long as you're generating, as long as you're having children, everybody needs to be putting these on the borders of their garments. Read. And that they put upon the fringe of the border a ribbon of blue. All these men out here, we're all in order. We've all submitted our lives to the Most High God by keeping His commandments. And we believe in the true image of Christ and His true doctrine, which is to keep the commandments for the 12 tribes of Israel. You see the fringe? You see the border of blue just above the fringe. Shalom, Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.